Let's talk about diamond fluorescence in this video. I love this topic because it is one of the coolest characteristics in diamonds. Now, first, there is a debate whether diamond fluorescence is a good or a bad thing, but I'm not sure why this debate even exists. The good thing for you is that this pointless debate can help you save money and get a cooler diamond in the process. Knowledge is power. I purposely bought my wife a diamond with a strong fluorescence, and I later will explain why. First off, what is it? Billions of years ago, when the diamond was crystallizing, if the element boron was present, then it will give the diamond that was created a phenomenon called fluorescence. And what that is, is if you shine a UV light on that diamond, it will give it this bluish hue. And for some diamonds, it's quite strong. A study done by GIA, which is the gold standard in diamond grading labs, shows that diamond fluorescence is not perceived by the general public at all. So nobody that's looking at a diamond with fluorescence will be able to tell the difference from a diamond without in regular light. Then they took experienced observers who look at diamonds every day and also they couldn't tell the difference of diamonds with fluorescence either but it gets better. There was one point in the study which experienced observers actually did notice a difference. If the diamond was facing up and the fluorescence was strong or very strong, in natural daylight they could notice a difference. But the difference that they perceived was that the diamonds with fluorescence were better in color than diamonds without fluorescence. So Rest assured, you will not be able to tell a difference, and if you do, it will be because the color is better if it has a strong fluorescence. Why does this make the diamonds better in color? Fluorescence is usually a bluish color in diamonds. Now, if the diamond has a poor color, it's normally yellow. Blue and yellow are almost opposite colors, if you will. If there is a yellow light, things appear more dingy. If there's a blue light, things appear more clean. If you have them against each other, they kind of neutralize one another. The same thing happens if you have a smart light bulb. If it's more yellow, places look more dingy. Hospitals will use lights with lots of blue in them so things look really sterilized. So the blue neutralizes the optics of the diamond. Fluorescence makes the diamond color better and it gives it this cool blue glow when you put it in UV light. Surely you would have to pay more for a diamond with this phenomenon, right? Nope. Look at this chart, which was produced by a study that they did, comparing diamond prices and fluorescence. On average, the prices of diamonds with fluorescence are less expensive in almost every type of diamond with any color, except for if the diamond is an eye color or less, which I normally stay away from diamonds below the shade H anyway. So now you know how to even save more money by buying a fluorescent diamond. But there is one issue. Trying to get savings out of this knowledge is actually a little bit difficult. It's hard enough going to that brick and mortar jewelry store, trying to find the list of specs you would like, but now add on top of that that you want really strong fluorescence. They just likely won't have the diamond with all your parameters is what I'm trying to say. That's okay because You've probably watched some of my other videos and you know why avoiding diamonds in the store is better anyways. Luckily, my favorite website for finding diamonds has such a large inventory that this isn't even an issue and their prices are way better too. They will likely have a diamond with all your specs that you desire. Just plug them into their little finder and go. So you can watch more of my other videos if you want more on this subject like why good online stores are better for ensuring the quality of the diamond than brick and mortar stores because it's true they are now to play devil's advocate less than 0.2 percent of diamonds 0.2 percent of diamonds that have fluorescence have this oily or milky appearance that takes away from the overall brilliance of the diamond less than 0.2 percent of those with fluorescence like i said this is rare because most diamonds with fluorescence don't have this problem, they're just as good. Still, I will give you a few ways to make sure your diamond doesn't have this problem if it has fluorescence. First, if you buy from the website I have linked to below this video, which you should, 
it will make it obvious if the diamond has a chalky appearance. That website uses imagery that exposes flaws, so you would see it very easily. Shop with them and you will be safe. Now you can also just make sure your diamond is at least a VVS range of clarity if you're buying a diamond with fluorescence and that will pretty much just ensure the fact that you don't have a chalky diamond. Also, you can see information in the comment section of the grading report that comes with every certified diamond, like this chalky or graining issues. Now, the rest of the things about diamonds with fluorescence are positive and even desirable. Now that you've watched this, you can use this prevalent ignorance in the general public on this subject for your benefit. I mean, you get a less expensive diamond with an awesome glow to it in UV light, and you're doing it for less money. Now, if you really want to learn more, watch my diamond size and price comparison videos or my engagement ring scam videos. People love those. Or link below is a website for an interactive tool to help you really understand diamonds before you buy them. Also, go to our Instagram for more diamond ring inspiration and our Facebook group for all things about getting engaged and engagement rings. I will see you guys in the next video.